Yo, what's up Tarnish? It's your boy Albi and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, the best way to form soul fragments. Soul fragments is the thing that you need to boost your demon um, mode, whatever you want to call it. Let's get straight into the video, bro. Brush your eyes, take care, catch up. Let me not say catch up on the next video. Automatically, we're just saying that. It was just muscle memory for me. Brush. I said brush your eyes, take care. <laughs> That's how you know I'm smack. I'm tired. Like, comment, subscribe, bro. Join the family. We're on the road to 20K subs. It's we've been bro, we've been growing super slow. So if y'all can hit that sub button, it'll be great because I'd actually like to hit 20k by the end of this month. But yeah, I'm running light magic, the Solian race, and the boss trait. The boss slayer trait. Boss slayer gives you a little bit of extra damage. And if you didn't know. You need to kill like certain NPCs. Certain NPCs give you greater ones, you know, lesser, and so and so. I'm just gonna bring you out to a spot where um, I typically form for it whenever I need it. Right now, I don't have that much because I was PVPing a lot. But I bring you out to my little spot that I go to. I'd get like around like I think 10 in like an hour. It's not. It's not like anything crazy. It's really just depending on how lucky you are. You can always run two times luck also you know uh or two times drop whatever um is called in the game to increase your job chance for it and the only reason why i'm running the solian race is because we just want to you know basically two piece these people so we're here because we get two orcs that spawn here we get this orc and then we get another arc that spawns right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off you also want to equip your staff for the extra buffs that your staff give and your grimoire and max out your obviously your clovers or whatever and then you just want to like i don't know why i keep using the first move so boom you know with this build you'll one shot an arc it doesn't take that long and then i don't know why this arc is not spawning but whenever this arc decides to spawn you'll rotate between one and two so uh, or you can take your time killing it too it don't really it, it doesn't really matter just up to you but with just the first move hold on let me just switch this around now so i stop using that first move first because let me see and you can afk this with light also so it's gonna be a way for you to afk and then wake up the next morning with a lot of soul frags because you get it from ham you get it from if especially if you don't have like a strong magic that can one shot you can also get it from the wolves the alpha wolf so if y'all want to go do the alpha wolf which is a weaker boss i can do that um venom also uh drops soul frags let me just change this real quick because i don't like the the fact that i keep using the stronger move first there we go all right cool but yeah whenever he spawns you know i don't know why he's taking so long to spawn I guess these the boss um, spawns are broken, but since this one spawned, we can go ahead and you know kill this one. But uh, you just use your first move; doesn't take that much, you know, magic, and finish him off with this. Boom! And then by the time you're done killing him, the other one shouldn't take that long. Or you can just sit there and AFK it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, you can just turn on a macro, like sit about like right here, and then just keep shooting this move but you'd have to obviously wait until he spawns so you know like what his cooldown what his timer is to spawn and i think they spawn like every like two minutes they spawn back you want like at least a decent amount of health but since you're one-shotting them and then you'll you obviously won't be attacking all the time so your mana will replenish so you might want to run if you can handle monstrous reserves and still do a decent amount of damage Right now, I'm running an overkill build. It doesn't really, you don't really need to run these, but if you do want a one shot, you might as well do that. And then you can go um, solely and remove the flames to increase your damage. I know a lot of people don't know that you can do that. You know, uh, Sunfire, I think that's what it says. Yeah, Sunfire Shift. And then you'll increase your damage like that. But yeah, bro, let me know in the comments down below what other videos I need help with. Somebody commented this down below. This was somebody else's idea. If this video was helpful, let me know. Um, <laughs> what if you run into a corrupted? Now, let me see if it's still like, yeah, you can still knock him over with just one shot. 
But the only problem with this is your fake, your fake cheese with this one. I ain't gonna cap. So just hope that you don't really sp run into this. Or like, you can do it like midday. This is just a perfect example. Yeah, you can't, you can't one shot a, a corrupted. But yeah, bro, getting so frags, I think should have been, should have been easier to get instead of it just being a chance. I think it should have had like a 30% chance to drop from one of these bosses or like 40, 50. You know, so you can actually stack them because now you could you bear you basically barely use your demon bar, and then when you do use your demon bar, you don't even want to use it that much because getting soul fragments is hard to get. I don't know if he's gonna end up changing this, but yo, you know it's just how he wants his game. So make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, bro. Join the family. We're on the road to 20k. Brush your hands, take care. Catch you on the next video. Eeks out.